Welcome back to another episode of Voice of Youth. Today we are going to be talking about a question which I've pondered quite a few times and I've reached out to the Voice of Youth chat to see what people thought about it itself and what they, answers they had. So the question is, uh, what is the difference between bravery and stupidity? Some people might instantly think, oh, you know, it's pretty obvious, you know, you know, bravery is when something, you do something in a courageous way, where you know, do something with gusto and you do something with the great, for the greater good. Stupidity is when you act without thinking or you do something which could possibly cause harm or anything like that. But then the reason I bring up these two ideas or these two concepts, themes or whatever, is that they are so easily overlapped. At what point does something turn from being stupid to being brave or vice versa. And the response I got in the chat itself was that it's very open to interpretation. Uh, that, you know, it's about perspective, how you view certain things. I raised one or two examples, uh, but then I'll bring them up here so you can also think about them yourself. And if you do have a response to them, I'd love to hear it in the comment section down below. But basically, here's one example. There's a burning building or something like that. Is it stupid for a person to run inside to save someone, or is that a brave action? And what makes it stupid or what makes it brave? It's up to the certain like specific person. I know I would say I was stupid to run into a burning building because I wouldn't have protection with me. I wouldn't know exactly what to do, all the safety stuff and everything. I can use basic instinct or basic common knowledge to figure out what's right and what's wrong. But at the same time, the basic common knowledge would tell me not to run into a burning building to save someone because it's not a brave thing, it's a stupid thing. But then yeah, it is about perspective. That's simply my honest opinion about it and yours might differ. But I also think at some point, like I say with a bunch of other topics as well, there has to be a set line or a set meaning or definition we give to each of these uh, ideas or concepts where we say, okay, once you do cross this line, generally speaking, once you do cross this line, you are brave. Or once you cross this line, you're stupid. Doesn't mean there can't be exceptions to these rules, but it means generally this is where we've set the bar for what this means. Because if you don't, if you say it's open to perspective, then there is real no definition of what exactly those words mean because it's open to perspective. But there is a solid definition and the solid definition has to be applied to certain situations. So the idea that, okay, yes, it's about perspective is an interesting one. It's about how you view it. It's about the thoughts of which you do an action with. That's what someone brought up. It's the values or the actions, like the th meaning behind the action you do. That's what can separate something from being brave to stupid if you do something with good actions with uh, honorable you know, thoughts or everything like that, it might be a brave action compared to you know, if you're not thinking when you do it, it's a stupid one. So this is just some concept I wanted to bring up here, see what people thought about it itself, see what you think about it. Um, sometimes when you're going to make a decision, think, oh, is this actually something that's, you know, I should do, is this a stupid action or is this a brave action, anything like that. It can honestly just be something that you just think about and just wonder, oh, what is brave, what is stupid? and how can we act to that? And someone brought up an example of how uh, perspectives of uh, seek actions, some people would say, oh, this was a stupid action of them to do. And those are generally people that, be, that would be against Sikhism or anything like that. But then when we look back at Sikh history, we'd say this was a very brave thing of the Khalsa to do or the Raj or anything like that. Uh, but then yeah, from different perspectives, people would view it differently. And um, it comes up with this whole idea, oh, like there's also this theory, like concept, oh, a freedom fighter is a terrorist to someone else's eye and a terrorist is a freedom fighter to someone else's eye. It's all about how you see them or how you know actions are perceived and who kind of dictates the story or shares the word, spread the word or anything like that and how they write about it. So those concepts are applied to this bravery versus stupidity. And I just wanted to bring it up just as a nice little topic, get people thinking, just see what other people thought about it itself. So if you are having an opinion about this and love to share it, let me know. You can message me personally if you prefer to do that and rather not comment down below. But otherwise, thank you for joining me on this episode. And until next time, Wahikujika Kalsa, Wahikujiki Fatah.